Today let's look at how to get custom note names in your piano roll and or MIDI editor for Ableton Live. So if you load up one of the Ableton Live kits, you can see they've got the note names right here. So if you wanted to add a kick drum, very easy to do that. Now of course over time you'll probably memorize these. Um, but if you jump over to a different product like Superior Drummer, uh, I was very used to using Ableton, and so I have no idea where the notes are. So I'll insert a MIDI clip here, and we can see that we just have our regular piano roll. I have no idea where the notes are. But with a little bit of wizardry, you can actually make those notes, I'm sorry, the custom names happen very urgent. Alright, so I'll show you how to do that. We're going to use a custom MIDI rack, which you're going to build yourself. Uh, or if you use Superior Drummer, it'll line up with the preset, and I've made one, and I will gladly share it with you. So you're going to go to uh, MIDI Effect Rack. Make sure we've got this channel selected. Double click, that's going to put it before Superior Drummer. And then we're going to right click, create a chain. And then we're going to make a zillion of these. And so uh, Command D to duplicate. Command A selects all of them. And so when we are exponentially, is that exponential growth? I don't know. But if you just Command A and Command D, it's going to, um, you know, make a ton of chains. So now we have 256 chains. I'm not sure how many notes there are in a piano roll. Uh, but you can just follow that process. Now we're going to open up the chain. Um, and we're going to do this by the keyboard. And if you right click and distribute ranges equally. Okay, so all these at the, at the end here are all on final note. So we're going to grab these on down. Delete. So how many are there? 128. See, that doesn't seem right because last. Anyway. Okay, so now we have one chain per note. Sweet, and now we just go to Superior Drummer and open this up, and then you can see, and you can also hear that that's a hi hat. But I'm probably gonna start down here with that. That's where the kick is. It's probably where I'd start. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna hit Auto because that's going to pull up the chain for the note that I'm hitting. So hit Auto, and then Command R is gonna rename it, and then I'll type in kick. And then snare. So you can see when you hit the button, it's actually going to select the chain. So you, uh, if you did this on your keyboard, I'm using my computer keyboard. But if you did it on like a MIDI keyboard, um, I don't know. Maybe it's easier because these sharps and flats are kind of a pain to find. Anyway, so what is that rim shot? So we're going to go rim. So we're just naming these chains to whatever we want it to be. Okay, now these are, they make sense, obviously, to name this kick, because, you know, it's the kick. But you could name it something awesome, and then, you know, when you're making your sweet track, and you need to, uh, you know, add some balls, then you would know where to, where to do that. Okay, one step ahead. We're going to do um, right-click and show names in MIDI editor. That's the key that you want to have checked. Now when we go over here, we're going to see the name. Boom. Right there. So when we need some, we just, you know, make a little bit of... Boom. Plenty. Alright, so you would just continue naming these as appropriate until you end up with something like this. Cool. And that's pretty much it. You can just rinse and repeat that for any other product that you have. I mean, if you use it regularly, I feel like uh, it could be a worthwhile investment. Or maybe if it's the first time, if you're starting to use a new product regularly, uh, it's worth the investment. Um, but, you know, for a lot of, like the Ableton kits, I know everything is off the top of my head. Um, yeah, that's it. JerryArt.com.